God answers prayer. Let's see those who believe God answers prayer. And if ever a time that we need to pray, it is now. And because we are asked, we are asked by our leaders, government leaders. They don't necessarily have to ask, but they ask us to pray. They realize that Jesus is the answer. And that is why we come to his house. And when we gather, I always say the church is really the conscience of any society. And that is why, you know, we do not become polarized by what's happening or politicize anything or we do not reach the point that we tell ourselves, well, you know, we don't know what to do. Uh, as a church, we don't say we don't know what to do. We tell people Jesus is simply the answer and he can turn things around. And so even today, even as we go to God in prayer, we have known and heard of all the atrocities and the negative things. But let us look to Jesus today. He sees, he knows. He knows the perpetrators. He knows those who are involved. He knows everything. And we have been preaching the gospel for years. And uh, they have every Sunday preaching, tell people they need to turn to the Lord. And we need, we continue to tell our nation that they need to turn unto the Lord because he is the answer. And uh, we don't have to re re uh, wait until it reaches a climax that the person are saying, we don't know what to do. God can come through for us. And so I want to pray for those you know, in leadership. We need to remember the, from the prime minister, we need to pray for him. It's not easy to be a leader in this time. We need to pray for those in the opposition. We need to pray for them. We need to pray for the judiciary. Amen. We need to pray for all our police officers. Amen. We need to pray for them. We need to pray for all the residents and all those who live in Antigua and Barbuda, whether you're born here or you're bang water come here, it doesn't matter. We need to pray one for another. Amen. And we all in it together and we're going to trust God that he will clear the way and he will see us through. And so we just want everybody to raise their right hand and we pray for Antigua and Barbuda. We all belong, even if you weren't born here, this is where we live. This is our island. Amen. Father, we look to you today. We are glad because you are the solution to every problem. And Lord, we are glad that our leaders, they are coming around to realize that it's not in parliament. It's not the enactment of new laws. But it's the power of God that is able to break through in the lives of men and women and turn things around. We pray for Antigua and Barbuda. We are boasted of 365 beaches. We are boasted of growth in our economy. We are boasted of how God we are, the, the, the violent situation and the, the debt, so oh God, they are, they are below the other Caribbean areas. But then we realize that things beginning to happen. And we know that God, you alone know the hearts of men. And you alone can turn night into day. I pray even today for this nation. I pray for a covering of your blood over this nation. I pray for every department of government. I pray for every minister of government. We pray for the, from the governor general right down to the prime minister, right down to all the parliamentarians, uh, all the secretaries, all the Lord, whatever they are, we pray for them today. We pray for the opposition as well. We pray that you'll grant wisdom and, and direction in every area. Lord, we pray that together, oh God, we might defeat this thing that seems to be invading our territory and make it uncomfortable for the people who live here. And we pray in Jesus' name that you'll break down the walls of division and we pray that you'll give liberty and direction to Antigua and Barbuda. We pray that, oh God, that you will, oh God, grant the, the, the prime minister the wisdom. Lord, help him even, even to just sit back sometimes and think his way through and then say, God, I need your help. Help him to know that by himself he cannot do it. 
but with the great God of Israel who can break every fetter. Lord, you can come through and you can guide. We love this nation. You have been good to us. You protected us from hurricane. You protected, protected us from earthquakes. So many protection. We have seen the hand of God before. And the same God who protected this nation. Thank God you can protect your people even today. We pray for those. We pray for our younger generation. No doubt many of them, they are dismayed. They, many of them, they are disillusioned. Many of them, they are troubled. Many of them, they don't know what to do, where to turn. And some of them, they decided, I'm going to use drugs. I'm going to turn to the gun. I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to do that thing. I'm going to put myself in gangs. I'm going to see how I can make some quick money. I'm going to do this. Lord, no doubt, oh God, we as adults, we have failed them. And Lord, we repent and we confess that indeed we have failed this young generation and we pray help us to get back to God get back to Bethel because the scripture is still relevant if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray oh God then you will hear from heaven you'll forgive our sins and God you'll heal our land we call upon healing for this nation Antigua and Barbuda we pray for wisdom we pray for direction I pray in Jesus name for even their protection and we pray that God that those who seem to be able to be want to create havoc in this society I pray that you'll make it oh God their downfall may they never reach anywhere but may they realize they need to turn themselves over to God and allow God to have his way lord bless every home today there are many homes many have been paralyzed there are many hurting mothers there are many hurting relatives there are those who have lost their loved ones they're mourning they're pain pain they're hurting and lord only you can come through for them no amount of justice can bring back their daughter or bring back their sons but oh God we pray you can bring hope and you can bring consolation we pray as a church as we continue to pray that we'll hold up this nation we have a responsibility to pray one for another and I'm glad when we pray God will answer prayer so Lord come through for our nation come through for Antigua and Barbuda we guard oh God all the ports this morning we God, all the openings uh, we pray for those who use drugs and and other means of trying to get quick wealth uh, we pray that you'll expose their behaviors uh, and we pray in Jesus name uh, there might be tranquility and hope in this land so our people might be able to rejoice then we pray for all our people they might turn to God Lord we have ignored and neglected the church we have turned our backs and spiritual things it's all about material gain and that is why we have suffered the consequences but I pray though we have gone astray we ask for your forgiveness and bring us back to Bethel back to the pathway of holiness back to the way we were taught back to the way of our poor parents our grandmothers and our fathers they taught us may we return to the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob and if we return God will hear from heaven and he will bless our land we pray for all our young people today we pray for them many are disturbing their spirits many are disturbing their minds they know no where to turn but I pray in Jesus name may they turn somewhere to some church today may they march to some pastor some Christian somebody will point them to Jesus so that they might say yes I've been searching but now I've found the friend in him Lord we know Antigua needs Jesus oh God the Caribbean region needs Jesus Lord, we have been saying it. Lord, man cannot live without you. We were created to serve you. And we pray today that we might see that seriousness 
and the, the God, our nation will return unto God. You said you'll forgive us and you'll heal our land. Heal our land today. Heal our homes today. He will heal our schools today. Heal our department of government today. Bring healing in the midst of chaos and division. Lord, there's so much of it, Lord, filtering. Lord, attack every area. But I pray in Jesus' name that you'll grant us direction and your leadership today so that we might follow Almighty God. Bless our police officers. We continue to pray for them. Pray for their families. Pray that you'll encourage and strengthen them. They're not perfect beings. They will make mistakes and they have made many. But God, they're there for a purpose. And Lord, to uphold the law, may they abide by it. May they remember, oh God, even, oh God, those commitments they have made to take care, oh God, of the cities of this country. And may they realize that, God, you have the answer and you can come through. Continue to have your divine way. Then we pray for a congregation. We thank you for every member. Thank you for those who went away. You have brought them back safely. Pray you'll continue to cover them and strengthen. Strengthen us as a church. May we continue, Lord, to be a church militant for God. A church winning the loss. A church impacting the community. Making a difference. So that God might be heard in the streets might be heard in our community in the villages in our homes maybe they're turning back and even as school reopens soon i pray for teachers i pray for students i pray for those who are successful in their exam we rejoice with them and even as they look at new territory and they try to make their lives something to better their lives thank you for them may we have positive young people coming out and showing that they don't have to live negative lives, but they can make a difference. We pray for Brother Gregson today and his family. And we pray even for the loss, even of his brother's wife. Pray that you'll bring hope. Pray for those two children. And we pray that you'll encourage them today. And we pray that you for the entire family, even as they mourn, be close to them. We thank you for Sister Isaac. You have been good to her, helping her. Pray that you continue to strengthen her today. Lord, we pray for even, Lord, the police officer who passed away, the family. We pray for her family today. We cannot pray for her, but we lift up her family. Pray you'll encourage them today. And we pray for others who are mourning and others who are grieving. And whatever the path, Lord, we pray that you'll be close today. And may your voice be heard. And may they know that God is still moving by his spirit. And we're going to give God the glory, going to give him the praise. We pray even for a brother who will travel along with his wife tomorrow. Grant them journeying mercies. And so great having them in our service and worshiping with us. And Lord, whatever the needs of our people, we pray for them today. We pray even for Shanice, even today, who sent this note. Pray that you will bless her and encourage her. And even as she seek a closer walk with you, pray that you'll help her to say yes completely and never to turn back, but to make her commitment and election sure. We pray for those who are sick, not able to come to church today. We pray for them in a special way. Pray that you'll touch them, encourage them. Remember Sister Karen, and we pray for others. We pray for them, Sister Small and others. And those who are not well, touch their bodies and encourage them today. And we give you glory and we give you the praise because you alone are worthy. In Jesus' name. And the church say? Amen. Say it again. Amen. Give God a big hand clap.